Caleb, you want to tell them what you bought? guys so we're out here at uh test location x i'm gonna call it for whatever reason i'm out here with mitchell mitchell say hi uh, so we have the new what well, i'm gonna i'm gonna call it the hoon hauler is what i'm gonna <laughs> call it. i haven't got a plate yet because of whatever reasons i'm using another plate from another vehicle legally of course it's just that's how it worked out so anyway this is hoon hauler and it's uh it's a five nine 1500 gas job uh ram 1500 and yeah this is it it has a stock rebuilt transmission of course because it's a dodge and dodges have terrible transmissions so yes, at some are. point it's going to be built and there's a bunch of stuff that it needs to be done to it uh first and foremost the four-wheel drive needs to be fixed for whatever reason the front fork isn't engaging therefore four-wheel drive isn't happening but it's got really meaty tires on it for now, so I think I'll be fine just driving around. Um, yeah, I mean, you got big rough trucks in there. I mean, like, what, 40-inch yeah. tires? Well, the 35s, like, they're 35 inch, 12 and a half wide oh, on 18 inch rims. Like, right. I have big hands, and that's massive. Like, that is yeah. huge. It has a huge tire print. Um, Realistically, probably won't even need to go for a pretty long time unless you really hit the trails. Yeah, most, most likely not. But the... This is kind of like going to be the new channel mascot to an extent. Sure, I mean we still have the wagon. Obviously, that's going to be a big part of the channel. But this is also going the to dream. be the dream. Yeah, the dream. This is going to be the thing that gets to where it needs to go. That makes stuff happen every time we need to go pick up parts, whatever. And I'm sure we'll have plenty of our own off-road adventures with this thing as well. It has a trailer hitch naturally, so I can haul a car trailer once I finally get one. But yeah, this is the uh, the new toy. Uh, well, toy slash tool. So hopefully we can get it all working and hopefully we can provide some good content. But for now, we're going to go rip around Bang Red Line and have a good time. So. Just like gearing it down. 
big corner coming up? Huh? You got a nice big corner coming up? I do, but not. It's a very lifted truck, so I'm kind of like nervous about drifting it too much. Like I'm, just, it will drift. It will drift. I'm right. hearing excuses right now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try a different thing. see the animal in his natural habitat. you like this? <laughs> it's a Dodge, but yeah, it's actually a, I mean, it's tagged, but it's a pretty nice Dodge. Yep. We just got stuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoops. So Mitchell so terrifies me on the driver because it's like, a terrifying episode of Will It Drift? I'm not even a buckle, I'm a buckle up in here. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Just remember, it's got six inches of lift on 35. Did you say flip it? So I traded the 540 burnout car for a 86 Camaro and then traded the 86 Camaro for the 96 Ram. Now I have the Ram. But I really don't feel bad about it. We got like another 60 cubic inches and uh, another 10 years and six inches of lift. I feel like I traded up. I did have to put a transmission in the truck. I still have to fix the four wheel drive. Um, but other than that, dude, I really, I'm totally happy. Yeah, I mean, it's really not a bad truck. Go for it. Oh, nice. Think trenches, dude. This is like hard packed gravel and it dug down like a solid, solid inch, I'd say. But you have like huge treads on the truck, so it really does dig in when you do 
punch it, which is awesome for mudding and like off-roading use. It really gives you the traction and soft soils that you want. I just wish I had four-wheel drive. It's fine. <laughs> oh. Struck's a riot. I got some body work I gotta do. This big old sick den. Foliage. Nice. 